Oswald would slip out the back of. This is the back. We were just in the front. This is the back. Okay, and he would slip out the back of this, of this, uh, this through this door here after he'd clocked in in the morning, and he would not reappear again until it was time to clock back out in the evening. And throughout the course of the day, the size of the building, uh, you know, he, the fact that he was missing half the time. Of course, this is a covered job, so he had special arrangements, so he was allowed to do this. Uh, but his direct manager was always frustrated. There was a, uh, there were some documents about from the direct manager who, in his, when he did evaluations of Lee Harvey Oswald as a worker, one of the notes that he made was that he could never find him when he needed him because he was always missing. He, he, he would always have some alibi or some excuse why he wasn't there. The reason he wasn't there is he'd slip out as soon as he showed up to work and he wouldn't come back again until it was time to leave. And he said, well, what was he doing all that? This is a cover job. This is to cover for what he's actually doing, his real jobs here, uh, which we'll get to in a minute. But this is so if anybody backtracks and looks at paperwork or documents and tries to trace Lee Harvey Oswald's movement, all the documents are going to show that he was at work on all these days. He clocked in on Monday morning at 8. He clocked out at 5 or whenever. And so the assumption is he was in this building all day working, only he was not. He was never in this building working. And Judith Vary, who was, he was handling, was taking care of his time sheets and his pay, pay sheets and his time cards. On. So he had the perfect person, they were connected, to uh, cover for him in case anyone came asking about where he was. She could go back through the documents and pull up pay stubs and say, no, he was at work on that day. He was at work that week when he really wasn't. Okay. Uh, I want you to see right next door is today it's called a public parking garage. Uh, back then this was Adrian Alba's garage and it was right next door as you can see to Riley Coffee. And oftentimes what Oswald would do is he'd slip out the back of Riley Coffee, which is this brown door, and slip right around the corner into that loading door, which is the gray door, and go in and have. Uh, hang out with his friend Adrian Alba who owned this garage next door uh, there was a waiting room inside and in that waiting room oftentimes Oswald would be reading rifle and hunting magazines uh, different things just malingering hanging out at Adrian Alba's garage uh, there's a lot of suspicion that this garage was actually a, a spot where a lot of intelligence officials hung out and could do so sort of covertly. And so this was a gathering spot for spooks. Of course, Lee Harvey Oswald, if you've uh, followed any of my JFK series, we all know was a spook, he was CIA. So this was not chosen randomly. Neither Riley Coffee was not chosen randomly. It's a perfect place to hide out if you're a, uh, an intelligence official because the folks who own this and run this are former intelligence officials. So if you need connections to get a cover job, that's your what that's your cover job right there. It's perfect. And then if your intelligence hangout is right next door to Adrian's garage, you can't get better proximity in terms of location. So now he wouldn't stay at Adrian's. He was only there in the morning. He, that's the first place he would go on his way to his regular. Uh, duties throughout the course of the day and then as he was coming back to report back at the end of the day he'd stop in at Adrian's again it's almost like he was checking his messages it's almost what it was so these are this is where Lee Harvey Oswald would start his day and finish his work day each day in New Orleans the summer 63 at his cover job at Riley Coffee and at Adrian's parking garage which was not called then, it was called Adrian Alba's Garage at that time. And, uh, and, and then he would go on and proceed from there.